So I've got the two Rotopax mounts installed. They are a little bit wider, but uh, you know, that's really okay. Doesn't bother me a bit. And uh, you won't see it when the, the tanks come on there. So two of them installed, the brackets are drilled, stainless steel hardware all the way through to the back. Works really well. Now on to put the tanks in. And here the fuel cells are installed. Actually, in this case, one fuel cell and one water pack. Um, there will be obviously no need for the water pack. That's just what I have with me here now. But you can see there's plenty of clearance to the trailer. Looks really well. And uh, vibrations, should they? I mean, there's really nothing that moves there, really. And from the other side, here you have it. And then the propane, should I decide to install that, would plenty of room for that one here. They're obviously lockable. I really prefer these guys. Uh, I've, I've had their tanks, uh, goodness, since 2010, when they were making a splash. And I've dragged these particular water and fuel cells with me on my adventure bike uh, all over the southwestern United States. Um, and I've just never had any issues with fuel expansion, anything. It just really, really works. So, in my humble opinion, I, I decided to um, to splurge and, and, and use them and pay a little bit of upgrade. So, yeah, you can lock it. You can see these has the lockable cores in there. And those are actually the ones from 2010. So, everything actually you see here is a little over 11 years old. It's been with me. The only thing that I had to fix was uh, the fuel spout. I believe it was Gen 1. And, yeah, it didn't work so well. That, uh, it just simply wore out. But... It is a fantastic setup. So there it is, mini review. We'll see you soon.